welcome to subramani i'm going to talk about a uh, part of behavioral finance which not too many people talk about it is about spending money and uh, your ability to spend money uh, and your willingness to spend money right so let us talk of an older person maybe is now 55 60 and uh, he is very tight fisted with his money right why is he tight fisted nobody is able to find out he's got lot of money maybe uh, let's put it in an indian context maybe he's got 10 12 crores he requires 2 3 crores for his retirement because he is anyway not a big spender so which means he's got another 9 10 crores surplus right but still when it comes to spending money he cannot spend money why does this happen have you ever wondered why what influences a person uh, while spending so i have a friend uh, we need not give him a name uh, and uh, whenever i go out with him he'll be jumping to pay the bill right uh, as soon as the bill comes whether it is 75 rupees or 2100 rupees for the two of us it doesn't really matter he'll jump to pay the bill uh, and i am uh, very curious about uh, people's financial behavior because uh, person would be very lavish in spending on something and very miserly in spending on something else to me it is a learning because i i need to the more people i meet the more people i talk the more such videos i can make so i asked him that uh, why is it that you jump to pay the bill and he said something very uh, hard hitting which stuck uh he says when i was young i wouldn't have much money whether i was in school or in college so when all my friends chose to have a soft drink i would choose tea not because i like tea because but because the tea was cheaper than soft drink so i would choose tea uh which was uh, say 30 paise versus uh, the soft drink which used to be 6 rupees or 5 rupees whatever that the that used to be the gap so i always chose the took the cheaper option uh and uh, my friends would uh, then sometimes when the bill was big sometimes they would say oh you don't have uh, money to pay so it's okay we will pay so having got snubbed or insulted whatever however you look at it or friends saying okay we we can uh, we can pick the tab for you once in a while or regularly whatever uh that went so hard into his head that he is unable to come out of it so whenever he sees a bill he jumps to paying it i have another person i know who does not tip i mean forget tipping liberally does just does not tip so i asked him what happened so he says uh, actually uh, from my age of he is now 66 67 from my age of 28 to 29 Uh, i did not have a proper job i had the qualifications i did not have a proper job and i had to ask my dad money for certain things that stuck so much in my head that today i am unable to part with money there have been cases of hollywood uh, actresses <coughs> who would sign big checks but would not part with cash right here because here they could see the money going but when you are signing checks whether you are signing for 1000 dollars 10000 dollars or 100000 dollars you are indifferent you just sign it you don't feel the pain now it's very funny to realize that all these things impact your uh, ability to spend right so first is how your uh, what impact your parents had right if your parents fought continuously over money chances are you will be very insecure about money you think money is something which causes problem either having it or not having it causes problem so i don't like money i hate money i shun money you need money to live yes but i don't love money so i hate it so <coughs> sorry i will not apply my mind on money so two ways how people react to this is one is to say when i was young i never had money to do all these things so now i'll splurge i'll buy a 2 and a half lakh rupee 3 lakh rupee watch i will buy a 7 lakh rupee camera i'll buy a 12 lakh rupee lens people just go and splurge more as a revenge on their parent rather than whether they need the thing they want to, people to judge them by the things that they have so when they see somebody else buying something a bigger house bigger car bigger vacation whatever they need to do it because their mind tells them look you have the money you can do it so you have to show off because there is an internal compulsion to show off so your family background and the other person in the same family can get up and say look my father was very frugal therefore he lived till the therefore when he lived for a long time 
we could afford good quality medical care etc because he had his money so i will also be frugal so these are two siblings reacting completely differently to the same circumstances so yes your family what you did in your youth what your family did with their money that surely matters where in your ability to spend so also um, your your father needed to your parents needed to support a lot of others so he did not have money and therefore he told you well, look we can't afford this so therefore it is hit your head that when i when the, whenever i can afford this i will get it right so you want to now show off with your money rather than use your money for what you think is good for you you don't think you don't even think whether this is good for you but you need to buy that uh, big a uh, 4 bhk or a 5 bhk to show off to people that you can afford it so the bigger house bigger car bigger vacation all that comes from that basic thing that i need to show people that unlike my father i have more money especially to their own relatives cousins siblings etc you want to show off more there another problem for older people which i have spoken about even earlier is whatever it took for you to be frugal and save money regularly save 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 it has been ingrained in your head by your parents by your boss by everybody around you that oh in india we don't have social security so you should save more you should invest more whatever the same habits which suddenly at 60 if you want to give it up or at 70 or at 65 you want to give up and say oh let me travel by a uh, premium economy if not business class it's very difficult to do that right so what happens is so many years of uh, good uh, of chasing returns like i have a friend's father who was about 84 or 85 when he asked me this question but that bank is paying me a higher rate should i go there and i laughed and i said uncle you have enough money to live your children don't need your money how does it matter whether you get that extra half percent or 1% it is not that 1% which matters it is the behavior right from his age of 20 has been told that you could do this you can save 10 paise 20 paise 1 rupee whatever depending on your age and now suddenly to give up 1% on a 7 8 crore corpus looks very difficult even though he does not need the money at 84 if you got 7 8 crores you know that you have done for the rest of your life now what happens to your money it should be completely indifferent but your behavior does not change so quickly simply because you have lived life like that you have constantly been told that uh, you have to save money you have to get better returns you have to take lesser risk right so you have been told all that so sudden change of behavior is not going to happen uh, another thing which makes people uh, make financial mistakes is being emotionally attached to something which um, may have been a mistake in the past right buying a share which has fallen then they could just hold on a share which they bought at 10 rupees which went to 7 and they just didn't sell but the price did not go up about 10 for 10 years right so then suddenly it it's 10 rupees they are happy to sell it saying oh i took i uh, did not lose money i got my cost right similarly buying a bigger house uh, whenever you want to buy a house the people are going to tell you oh buy a bigger house buy with 3 bhk buy 4 bhk your parents and your in laws could suddenly want to stay with you so you need two separate bedrooms for them and then one for your kid one for your dog one for your guest so suddenly you need a 10 bhk right so uh, then you get attached to that saying oh i bought this for that and then the kids have gone there are no relatives coming but you are emotionally attached to it that's another uh, so you are unable to get rid of it so uh and uh, one more thing which happens is the as you age uh, you think you're going to get a lot of pleasure by doing certain things you do it but you don't get that pleasure which you got when you were in school right when you were in school you went to a particular place and ate a particular food that was great thrill because it was rationed you were not getting it whenever you wanted it you had to accumulate money or you had to beg plead with your parents to go there and then only you got it so that whole effort uh, is today not there so if you go there you have, you don't see anything great about that food you say oh food is deteriorated it used to be much better when i was younger <laughs> it is not that it is that you were happier you were younger you had more energy and uh, it required lot of pleading your dad said okay we will go there for your birthday in june you you are talking to him in december so he's already postponed it by 6 months you have your what your parents and done or our parents have done for us is have that immense ability to 
postpone things which uh, which are lying in the house but you could not have access uh, chocolate lying in the uh, in the in the fridge it had to be eaten in small pieces you couldn't just pick up the whole chocolate and eat but today you can afford it will you mean you will do it some people do it some people say no that was a good habit that i learned so let me stick to that so it's a question of how you want to uh, how you want to handle the whole thing so Uh, also one more thing which i find is people uh, worried about very small things in life don't worry about the big things worry about your car worry about your house worry about your uh, investments right things about that don't worry about the vegetable vendor charging you a little extra in fact i tell people uh, you keep 5000 rupees away in one account and think all the extra 2 rupees which your rickshaw fellow didn't give you or the 2 rupees with the vegetable vendor said she didn't have so she said oh i have you have to give i have to give you 2 rupees uh, you have given me 20 but here take back the 20 you can make a g pay to me at 18 if she is willing to give up 2 rupees why can't you give up 2 rupees right all that put together doesn't really matter but then in our head every transaction we look at it and say are ye 2 rupees i need to save this 5 rupees i need to save not true after you have money you need to spend it also please realize your children may not want the money that you have right i mean nobody says no but honestly they may be making much more right uh, another thing is the uh, husband or wife living up to the jonases that is another thing because somebody else has bought you have to buy it does not really matter whether you use suppose your neighbor travels about 120 kilometers every day to his factory and the road is not very good right and he buys a nice big car because he needs that right he needs to rest his back while he is traveling he does not want to risk his back so therefore he pays uh, 40 50 lakhs and buys a nice good quality mercedes benz or some good branded car you are traveling 9 kilometers within a small radius you don't need it right but you have to once you have a mercedes then you can downgrade so well the mercedes it is so attaching yourself to wrong things attaching yourself to these kind of uh, notions that i have to have this to show off to people i need all that if you don't have any of those things your attitude towards money will be very different thank you